two wind turbines in Talladega have in common. I'm Lake Speed Jr., Certified Lubrication Specialist here at Joe Gibbs Racing. And wind turbines have a whole lot more in common with Talladega than you may think. Wind turbines have to deal with extreme temperatures. Freezing cold in the winter, blazing hot in the summer. These temperature extremes place great demands upon the lubricant, just like on the racetrack. Think about the two-car draft. At Daytona and Talladega, you have two cars locked in tandem. The car in the front has got plenty of air getting to the radiator and the oil cooler. His temperatures are normal, about 200 degrees, while the car behind is getting a minimal amount of air to his oil cooler and radiator. His temperatures can be as high as 300 degrees, but every few laps, they trade positions. With these wild temperature extremes, from the car leading to the car behind of over 100 degrees in some cases, you need an oil with an ultra high viscosity index. Basically, the oil has to be able to flow when it's cool and still protect when it's hot. Let's examine this idea of viscosity index further. All oils get thinner as they get hotter, but not all oils thin out at the same rate. The higher the viscosity index, the more the oil holds its viscosity at high temperature. Inside your engine are moving metal parts. The job of the oil is to keep those parts separated. When you look at those parts under a microscope, you'll see they're actually not smooth. They're a series of peaks and valleys. The oil's job is to create the barrier film that separates those peaks and valleys. As temperature increases, that barrier film can decrease, leading to friction and contact and wear. All bad things. You need a higher viscosity index oil to keep these components separated under high heat and high loads. New ultra high viscosity index base oils are just now becoming available that increase the viscosity index almost double over what old school conventional mineral oil could do. These new ultra high viscosity index oils allow you to create an oil that can handle much higher temperatures than you ever could before. In the old days, the only way you could have a high viscosity index was adding viscosity index improvers. These additives break down under high shear conditions. Think about a rubber band. What happens when you stretch it? It thins out. What happens when you stretch it really hard? It breaks. The same thing happens in high RPM, high shear stress engines. The viscosity modifiers break down, which ultimately leads to a breakdown of the oil film. Not good. Now, these ultra high viscosity index base oils allow us to build shear stable, high performance oils that can maintain that protective oil film even at 9,000 RPM and 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Here at Joe Gibbs Racing, competition drives us to innovate. We've used lubricant engineering to create application specific products that give us a competitive advantage. In the last 10 years, Joe Gibbs Racing has won seven NASCAR championships and over 100 races using the Joe Gibbs driven line of products. From full synthetic race oils to engine braking oils and everything in between. To find the right oil for your specific application, visit us at joegibbsdriven.com and order the most advanced synthetic oil available today.